Hey guys, welcome back. So I know I mentioned a foundation video for you guys. Well, I got sick and I had already did the foundation video for you before I even got sick, but I kept just like not making any sense in the video. I don't know if it's just like brain fog or something, but yeah, I wasn't making any sense and I was just like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna refilm it, it's not a big deal. So I thought the next morning I would just start new and film it again for you guys, but then I woke up with a horrible sore throat. I'm still kind of nasally. Um, yeah, and I just got sick. I don't know if it's just allergies or a virus is going on, but man, it's hanging on and won't let go. <laughs> and I've just been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping as much as I can. I honestly haven't even left the house in three days. So there's that. All right. So basically what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is my favorite holy grail I need in my life foundations. And I have them sitting in front of me right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. If you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So first things first, if you guys wanna see the eye look that I created, please let me know in the comments down below and I will film it for you guys. I didn't film it um, tonight when I did it. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now. So yeah, I just didn't film it. But I did use the Morphe 35M palette, and it's this beautiful palette with some olive shades in here, some purple, some berry color, some warm tones. It's just kind of got everything in here, and I mainly just played around with the greens. If you guys want me to film it, let me know. Let a girl know, and I will film it for you guys. Okay, moving on to the foundations. I have a couple different varieties of foundations. First foundation that I will definitely repurchase, I don't know why I keep pausing, <laughs> that I will definitely be purchasing again is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Now, this foundation does have an SPF in it. It's SPF 50. And... It's not necessarily called a foundation, it's called a CC cream, a color correcting full coverage cream with anti-aging serum in it. And yeah, I have mine in the shade medium. You guys, this is full coverage. Like when I'm saying full coverage, it is full coverage. And it's just amazing. Like I don't know where this has been on my life. But I absolutely love it and I need it in more shades because this is um, medium like I just said and I need it in a lighter shade when I am not self tanned so I will definitely be picking this up. It Cosmetics killed this and they have a matte one as well. It's like in a green tube and then they have another one that's in a pink tube. I'm not sure which one that is. I think it's like the anti-aging one, but yeah, these, they're incredible. I would say for my oily girls and guys out there, you definitely are gonna want the matte one and I would maybe mix a pump of this in it. And this I discovered when I was on Accutane, it was the best thing for my dry skin ever. I love it. Okay, next foundation that I have is one that I have been using for a very, very, very long time. I want to say like 16, 17 when I was in high school. And that is the L'Oreal True Match. I have the shades W4 and W3. Um, W3 when I am a little bit more fair, not self-tanned. And W4 when I am my best self-tanned self. This is my perfect shade. Um, this does have sunscreen in it as well. It's SPF 17. And yeah, these are very lightweight but buildable. I would say they are a light to medium coverage. Um, but if you do let them, if you put a layer on first and let it dry, put a second layer on, you can pretty much build it to medium to full coverage. It just depends on um, what you're working with underneath. If you're trying to cover different things, it just depends. But um, I had this when I had acne 
and I didn't have any problems with it sticking to you know those little areas on my face or it, it never also gave me um patchiness I never had problems with that it's very blendable very buildable and yeah I absolutely love 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 this foundation I will continue to use this foundation forever and ever and ever I cannot see it not in my collection like I don't know where I'd be without it Okay, next foundation is another Holy Grail, and it's one of my other high-end foundations, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way. I have this in the shade Warm Nude, which technically is more of my self-tanned shade, and I can't, like right now, I'm a little on the fairer side, and I wouldn't be, be able to get away with this shade right here. I definitely need to pick up a lighter color but the true or I'm sorry the Too Faced Born This Way is a medium to full coverage and I do agree with that that's what it says on the bottle it is oil free um yeah this is another foundation that I will continue to be repurchasing it does have a pump on it and this is also one of another foundation that I came across when I was um in my drier times, I guess you could say. My skin just, you know, changing on me and this never did me wrong. I would use it when, even when I had like patchy dry skin, never had a problem and I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Next foundations I'm gonna be talking about are for definitely my matte lovers out there that love a good matte foundation um the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation is a must you need this if you love um this one actually is a satin matte but i personally think it dries down on my skin more of a, like a matte like you there is no um dewiness or anything like that to it and my skin I would say now is more combination I'm not dry like I was when I was on Accutane and I'm not oily when I wasn't on Accutane um when I wasn't on Accutane yeah I'm not as oily so I do get oily in my t-zone but it's very 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 little it's not that at all and yeah I can get a pretty long wear out of this foundation without it looking cakey on my skin or anything like that I absolutely love it I actually started using it because Casey Holmes raved about this foundation if you don't follow Casey Holmes um She's a YouTuber that I have been watching forever and ever and ever now, and I love her. Uh, she also has a vlog channel, so if you guys don't know Casey Holmes, search her. She's amazing. I love her, and yeah, she was using this foundation, and I was like, you know what? I'm getting it, and it's only $12, and I found mine at Ulta. I have the shade F10, and yeah, I also have other shades. I think I have F8 and F9. Those are too peachy tone for me this when i'm self tanned this when i'm self tanned looks amazing i love this foundation okay another foundation i want to talk to you guys about is the la girl pro matte now when i was oily this foundation was amazing. Um, I couldn't use it when I was on Accutane. I think what I was doing when I did want to use it was um, I was putting my oil drops. This is the Ordinary um, Rose Hip Seed Oil in combination with this and I would just mix it on the back of my hand and then dot it all over my face. So if you have a oil and you are more dry, if you're extremely dry, stay away from this. But if you are not as dry or even combination skin, you would love this. Um, I would just say mix an oil with it and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, especially if it's like a nice luminous dewy oil, you'll be fine. It, you you kind of just want to layer your um, products. Love this so much. I have the shades natural and medium beige and I think I also have the shade tan. Two. Tan is way too dark for me. 
I have to be like really, 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 really ultra dark for that one. Um, but natural and medium beige, I think I was using medium beige when I was self tanned and then natural when I'm on my more fair days. Like right now I'd be able to get away with natural. So yeah, I absolutely love, love, love those foundations. Last foundation I want to talk to you guys about is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this is in the shade 03 Light Beige. And I want to say that this does not, it actually doesn't. It doesn't dry down to a um, matte foundation. But when you set it, in place, um, you it gets rid of the shine right away. It says medium to full coverage, which I do agree with. Um, you can, if you use a little bit at a time and just kind of put it where you need it, you can have a medium coverage or even a light coverage out of it. And then when you build it up, you can definitely get full coverage. It's a lightweight, oil-free formula, long wear, water resistant, and sweat proof. Now, I can't necessarily say I've used it when it's been scorching hot. Um, I do live in Georgia, but I haven't tested it. So um, I can't really put my opinion down on the sweat proof, but I can definitely say it is 100% um, lightweight and it's medium to a full coverage. I do agree with that. Mil Milani has this in a bazillion different shades like you would definitely find your shade That's pretty much it those are my holy grail foundations these are just my all-time favorites especially the a cosmetic one i love this love it love it love it love it so much okay so that was it for me you guys if you like the video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and yeah if you want to see this makeup look like i said let your girl know and i will film it for you okay 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 i really need to go to bed because it's like very late and just need to take off all this makeup and go to sleep. Oh yeah, my lip combination is um, Maybelline mm, Superstay Matte Ink um, in the shade Driver. And then I also put Smashbox Always On Liquid Lip in the shade Fair Game. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. And if you don't know, where have you been? Where have you been? You need to pick this up. You need it in your life. Go get it now. I'm just kidding. I'm being so demanding. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.